So this is the first uh, 5G modem chipset. Right. These are routers for both home and small medium offices that convert 5G signal to high-speed Wi-Fi. So uh, is it like a, um, uh, some way for people, like consumers, to get access to the internet? Yeah, that's right. When you don't have access to high-speed fiber, for instance, you can actually use one of these to get high-speed connectivity in your home or office. How does it compare? What do you, what do you, what, what do you mention? Fiber. Oh, for instance, this can uh, its total throughput can be up to two gigabits per second. So that's actually a pretty high speed. So it can, it, it can actually substitute a fiber connection. Sure. Yeah, it actually receives a signal from a 5G tower and then switches it to Wi-Fi. And it looks like this. So this is a consumer product, or no? Yeah, it is. It actually has uh, like a WPS version as a normal domestic router would have, and that one over there too. But Wi-Fi, how can you get two gigabit per second Wi-Fi speeds at home? Can you make two hotspots? Two AC and through MIMO, through multiple antennas also. Nice. Uh, so, um, so how soon is this deployed? I mean, it's right. It's launch. It's launching right now. Uh, the launch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think it's beating uh, uh, this year. This year. This year. Yeah. So, is this one of the 5G is going to be in mobile phones, but it's also going to replace fiber? Is this the idea? I'll replace, I'll replace fiber. Do you think? How does it. Uh, I mean, there's, there's going to be fiber to the home also, right? Okay. Yeah. Or is this like a replacement for fiber? Uh, I think it's uh, maybe complete, complete fiber. Complete fiber, complete yeah, complete fiber. Because um, have the two um, maybe different scenarios for the fiber or five Gs. Yeah. Uh, is there any chance that uh, this is not making yeah. a five G hotspot? No, it's only receiving the five G. Yeah, receiving five G hotspot. Uh, no, no, this is for the home. Yeah, for home. Yeah, for uh, receiving. Yeah, receiving. Re receive the five G signals and speed out to the Wi Fi. Wi Fi thing yeah. But uh, yeah. uh, when you when you go back to the internet, you're also yeah. sending out the 5G signal. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it isn't the optimal way to make a 5G network in the future. Yeah. Would it not be to connect every person's home and uh -huh. create small hotspots everywhere? Uh, okay. Is this going to happen with this kind of technology? You know? uh, not this kind of yeah a, de a device. This, this device is just we use in your home scenario. My, just in your home uh, scenario, not for operators. When, when Which know. country is this uh, useful for? Uh, actually, we have the trial in uh, uh, Korea, in Dutch, and uh, no, uh, in German, in German, in, in Germany. Yeah, yeah, we have the trial already. Can we just drop yeah. over here? Uh, what's what's the difference between this and this? Yeah, no, honestly, so yeah, this is outside. Outside. Have to go to, um, Actually, this is the low frequency device. This is the high frequency device. High frequency device, that means, um, because high frequency, that means the coverage is limited. So we should put the device outside the home. So you can see there is two devices. One we should put outside the home, and this one is put inside the home. So signals will be received into this device, and Spread the into the home device, yeah. so this is different. And for uh, the low okay. frequency device, like a, like a because the, router, like uh, the frequency very, is like wireless, better, uh, so this device I just yeah, put into the user um, home directly. Okay, so it is the same bandwidth? Is it, oh, it uh, this is the low, uh, uh, low this frequency. Is six, this is high frequency. But it's both two point two yeah. gigahertz, uh, gigabit per yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, the, but okay, it will so be different countries, like some countries will not have as good right, right, uh, right, uh, okay. coverage as um, others. This is for the ones that don't have as good. Yeah, yeah. actually, this, this, year. Uh, this is two oh, solutions. This, this just depends what I, what I, you need. So this chipset over there, does it have an arm inside or no? Yeah, is it arm CPU? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sixty-four bit. Uh, so does it run something like uh, Linux or Android or something? Uh, Android Linux. things. Linux. 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 Uh, so what does it do? The Linux, the, the device like this. What, what is the functionality? Is a networking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is 5G chipset. Just um, focus on the network. So it, uh, actually, this device is the first uh, 3GPU commercial 5G chipset. Why is it so big like this? 
It doesn't have many cores, many functions. What is it? It's pretty big, right? Yeah, actually, you know, uh, yeah, because it's the first, because, uh, yeah, as you know that, yeah, yeah, as you know that, uh, this, uh, uh, the 5G uh, NSA yeah, standards has, has just been frozen in uh, 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 December uh, 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 2017. So it's a very short time. Short time. Yeah, yeah, two months. Because this this ship that has de developed ahead of this uh, standards. Do you talk about how many cores it has yeah. or something yeah. like that? Yeah. 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 Do you talk about this or no? No. <laughs> Many cores. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yes. And also because the, uh, uh, the standard <coughs> it, it has just been fixed. So uh, I think the next generation will be much smaller. The next one can be in the phone? Yeah, yes, of course. This year? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, maybe. maybe. But, uh, on the presentation, it says uh, 20 gigabits per second. Why is this one only 2 gigabits? Uh, yeah, 20 uh, 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 gigabits is for the you know for the peak for the peak user data rate because if you have a 5G uh, a, a real base if you have a very smart device in the future uh, you can uh, 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 occupy the the station by your own own users you can reach to 20 but for the for this CPE, it's not just occupy all the all all the uh, frequencies. Uh, but uh, the the idea of uh, I don't know if it's called base stations or something like that uh, is the future ISP. Is it going to be the same company today that make ISP, or it could be new companies making a 5G network in every country? Uh, sorry, I, I don't understand. Uh, what I'm wondering is just uh, if there's any chance that 5G is going to change the paradigm in terms of. Uh, Who's providing the network? Because maybe every user can be part of that, right? Yeah, uh, yeah sorry, it's a little bit strange what I'm suggesting, but uh, it's, just, yeah. it's just what I'm, what I'm thinking is, if you connect a fiber to this one, or if you connect a cable internet to that one, and then you make a small 5G network for one kilometer, or I don't know how big, around your house, and everybody do this, then the network will be free. It's a good idea, but this device is just a 5G station, not 5G uh, yeah. uh, server. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's very, very uh, well. For the first 3GPD 5G commercialized chipset, the peak rate, the peak rate up to 2.3 gigabit per second. It is about uh, some 6 uh, gigahertz band, and also the Millimeter, millimeter wave of frequency bandwidth, the multi frequency bandwidth spot. This is the industry the first model for, for 5G. So, so we call maybe a 5G01, the first one, also for Huawei, for, also for the industry of devices. And also, we are collaborating with the industry top 30 uh, carriers, including the water from the T Mobile and many, many uh, the leading carriers in the world to do the 5G uh, commercial trial. And uh, this year, we commercial launch. And also, this time, we bring the industry the first uh, the devices for the 5G. 5G CPE. This is the sample 6 gigahertz uh, band. You can see this. It's small, and also it's uh, uh, dual uh, do connectivity, 4G and, uh, and 5G. Okay. Okay. And also we have the uh, 5G CPE of uh, another unit, it's the uh, ODU outdoor unit and the IDU indoor unit. That is a uh, minimum mini, uh, mid wave frequency band. So between this, we are using the PoE, the power over internet connection between this. Because that's a more higher frequency band. The 20, uh, 29 gigahertz, 28 gigahertz, some high frequency band. We need the more the outdoor unit for the antenna and for the performance of the coverage. So thank you.